everybody, it's Gil. Welcome back to another Tuesday grilling video. Today's gonna be an interesting one. We're not actually gonna cook something for the sake of eating it. We're actually cooking something to learn more about our pellet smoker. And if you're gonna do anything unique with your pellet smoker, like try to bake in it, do something other than low and slow, you have to sort of know where are the spots that tend to be hotter or cooler. And what we're gonna do is use a package of canned biscuits and we're gonna set the grill up. We're gonna bake these in several different locations. And what this is gonna do is tell us all the hot spots and where they are in our grill. It's just a good thing to sort of mentally map out so that when you're cooking something down the road, let's say you wanted to bake a loaf of bread or you wanted to cook a pizza or you wanted to bake uh, cookies or anything else you might wanna do, it's important to know where those hot spots are in the grill. And this is important for us because our next recipe that we're gonna end up doing in an upcoming video is gonna be a really, really unique, smoky, meaty cookie. Sounds odd, but it's gonna be great. Let's go ahead and show you how you get this set up and we do this test on a pellet smoker. And I would encourage you to do this on any grill you have. Uh, a pellet smoker is certainly what we're using to do this testing, but if you had an offset stick burner or you had a gas grill or any other kind of uh, outdoor cooker, it's always good to know where the different um, hot spots are based on a given temperature setting. So as I said in the intro, one of the things you wanna do is make sure you know on your smoker where are the hot spots. Is it the front or the back? Is it the bottom rack or the top rack? Is it right over the fire pot or offset? And we're gonna do that with just these little Pillsbury Grand canned biscuits. What we're gonna do is we're gonna place them around in different places and just validate where the hot spots are. So I've got the smoker set at 350 degrees. Um, that's exactly what we want. We cook these 11 to 15 minutes. So we'll set it for 11 and we'll come back and check them out at the end of the 11 minutes to see which ones are uh, overdone or underdone. Let's go ahead and open this up. These things startle me every time I use one. Let's see. It always says use the back of a spoon. Ready? There it goes. <laughs> Pop. <laughs> now we're just going to go ahead and open this up and place these in all the spots that we want to validate the temperature. One near the back, one near the front. The same thing here. I'm going to do one right over the center, one near the back. Back on this side, front, front. So this is the arrangement we have in here. You can already see this one's getting brown on the bottom. So it's set for 11 minutes on the timer. So I can smell it burning. It's been eight minutes. Let's see what we've got here. You can see, pretty dark right there in the front. Fairly dark here. So let's talk about what we have here. Clearly right over the fire pot is the hottest spot as you would expect. Interestingly enough, the front is hotter than the back, but the bottom is definitely hotter than the top. So you can see here, the center one is gonna be a little darker than the two on the side. So this is our hottest spot, our second hottest spot. Bottom is hotter than the top and a little bit here. So this is a wonderful way to know where the hot and the cool spots are in your smoker. I would encourage you to do this. Get to know your smoker. This costs like, I don't know, three bucks for uh, two bucks, whatever a can of those things are. And it's a great test. It's gonna make you a better cook when you start using your pellet smoker or your grill. I hope you guys found this useful. We'll see you next Tuesday for another grilling video. Bye y'all, safe grilling. I said we weren't really doing this to cook, but the fruits of your labor are you do get to. <laughs> they taste good. <laughs>